Hello everybody, this is Daytora, and I am back for another video with the uh, whole situation that's going on with the R2 server shutting down and Mechanist taking over and having their own servers, and today is about, they finally announced the fine details on the compensation that they're giving out to players. Now some of it's pretty good, but some of it's pretty bad, and we'll go over, uh, real quick, you know, you've got early supporters, you've got information here about, um, how the alpha and closed beta testers, they're going to be getting their money back for their packages, which is good. There's some things that, um, if you read, that they need to work out and match to find details. Let's see, let's see here. Acadia, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so there's certain things like avatars and certain things. They don't know if they're going to get back enough, but basically they're going to get back pretty much everything they put in, which is good. The, the issue is the welcome backpacks. Now... The main issue is, and unfortunately for a lot of you play people, it's you're not going to get anything because unless your character is level 30 plus the highest character on your account, because if you read finally it says you're going to be listing the details for one character on your account. So if you have five characters on your account, you're only getting credit based on your highest level character. And then you have to email them with the information and, and all that stuff. You got to read the fine details, how to redeem your gift pack um, on the site. But yeah, if your character, if your highest character on your account isn't level 30 or plus, you're not going to receive anything. Um, there's two welcome backpacks. There's for one for level 30 to 37 and for 38s. I mean, there's not a whole lot here, but at least they're giving you something. Like, you're getting vehicle parts, which is, is cool because um, if any of you's paid attention to uh, leaked info, as they say leaked info, but information from the Turkish and the Chinese version, um, those have steam bike crafting that was in the... Uh, in the old version of like alpha and like closed beta they had it where you can upgrade your steam bike and that's going to be back in the game which is apparent because of the vehicle parts which is kind of cool because i've seen you know they start with a little crappier bike and they work up to a really cool looking bike and the bike itself as you upgrade it adds bonuses to your to your stats if it's going to be the same as 1.5 it adds like bonuses to all your stats which is cool um, let's see, key bundles, they're giving out cardios, you know, broadcast tickets, these are nice things, transmuter orders for free and stuff, so that means the transmuter is going to stay in, which is a good thing. Santa cap, which is a nice thing, a holiday thing, you know, they're giving you back some spire marks to start, which is nice, so you can part purchase some of the, uh, the cosmetics and stuff. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not bad, honestly, I mean... You're, we're losing a lot of stuff. I mean, you're losing your characters, any the the, the gear and, and your mods and stuff. But again, when they say they're starting over from fresh, we, we had to expect that we we're going to lose that. So I mean, they 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 show here they they do care. You know, they're giving us stuff, but it's it kind of sucks if you don't have a level thirty or higher. You know, a tune on your account, you're not getting anything. So I'm sure a lot of people aren't going to be happy uh, with that. The the main issue here is when it comes to Electrum. Now, I can understand totally, of course, the, the alpha, the closed beta players, they were, you know, the, the benefactors, there, there was the whatever those packages that they could put money in, and that money, at the time Mechanist hosted the game, all that money went directly to them, so of course they're going to get reimbursed, which is good. But us players on R2, yeah, I mean, I understand that the money that we put in didn't go, I guess, to Mechanist, it went to R2 because they had the hosting rights, so they were making profit, but they're not reimbursing us anything for it. Nothing. Um, I mean, if you go down to how to redeem gift pack and you read down there, it says, yeah, you got to give them your remaining spire marks, shillings, keys, so they're going to give us maybe some sort of compensation on remaining spire marks on our account, remaining shillings and keys, and they also have remaining Electrum there, but to me... That doesn't make sense. You're going to compensate us on remaining Electrum, but not for the items we bought. I mean, who would buy Electrum and just buy, you know, $20 worth of Electrum, $5 worth of Electrum, $100 of Electrum, whatever it would be, buy Electrum and not spend it. Most people who have Electrum on their accounts, it's a, a small amount or, about, or an amount that it wasn't enough for them to buy anything they wanted. And normally, say, if, like, you're going to get the gauntlet, so there's their 16-something spy marks, you would have bought the $20 pack, or the jet pack that's 30-something hundred like I got. You would buy the $40 pack. Y you buy enough to buy what you want, You don't, and you don't really have a whole lot extra, and normally the little bit you have extra you might spend on some consumables, you know, catalysts or something like that. So to me, it doesn't make sense why they're going to maybe reimburse us on remaining Electrum, but not on 
the Electrum items we bought. And I'm not, when I say compensation for the Electrum vanity items, like the Electrum uh, cosmetics, the clothes, the Electrum pets, the Electrum steam bikes, well, steam bikes are kind of in because they're changing the steam bike system, but they're still jetpacks. How about the Electrum jetpacks? How about the Electrum gauntlets? Um, I don't expect them to compensate us with Electrum items because they still need to make profit. They, they spent money to buy the hosting rights back, to get the servers going, so they need to make some profit through the Electrum shop. But for us players that did spend money on the R2 servers, it would have been a nice gesture if they compensated us with Spire Marks versions. Okay, and the Spire Marks version, they're not losing any profit because Spire Marks are just earned as you play. They're not something, a, a bought currency where you have to pay money. So it would have been a nice gesture if they at least compensated us with Spire Marks versions of our Electrum uh, vanity items and pets and, and you know, jetpacks, gauntlets, but they're not doing that. That's my biggest issue right now. I mean, I, like I said, I understand the money went to R2 and everything, but... That's the main thing I was looking for. I understand the alpha and beta, you know, beta, uh, closed beta got it. My main thing was, are us players on R2 going to get reimbursed anything, compensated even the smallest amount for money we put in? And the answer is no. If you bought Electrum and you spent it, that's it. Nothing. You get nothing in return. You get, and hopefully if you did spend money and buy stuff, hopefully you've got a level 30 or, go, uh, level 30 or higher tune because if you put money in, you're not getting reimbursed for anything or compensated for any of the items you bought. And if your tune isn't level 30 or higher, you're not even getting a welcome backpack. So somebody that might have a level 29, that maybe a 20-something, they're you know, gearing up, they bought some vanity items, isn't that they may be sat in that bracket playing PvP, or they were a person that didn't have much time to play, you know, um, but they did have put money in or, or whatever, they're not getting, they get nothing back, they get they get no welcome backpack, they get no reimbursement for the, the cos uh, Electrum they put in, they get nothing. Mechanist, I don't, I don't think that's right. I mean, I understand you guys want to have some, make money off of Electrum stuff, but I can tell you as right now, I had a bunch of money into the game. Um, and I'm not going to put any money back in if I'm not, you know, I don't feel comfortable now with with uh, the game, with anybody, it doesn't matter if you're hosting it, if R2 is hosting it, I don't feel comfortable putting another cent into this game, you know, because directly because I'm not going to get compensated back, even Spire Marks versions or even some extra Spire Marks to buy some, some stuff, I'm not getting nothing for the items that um, I bought from the shop. So I don't feel comfortable putting another penny into this game. I might play it for, uh, you know, I'll play it. You know, I mean, I acknowledge that you're giving us welcome backpacks. That's nice. But as I said before, it's, it's unless unless you're 30 plus, you're not getting nothing. But I have a 38, so I'm getting a nice pack. My question is this diplomat badge. I'm going to get, as a 30, I'm going to get a 90-day diplomat badge. I know during the your your daily login bonus there's the diplomatic reward it says down bottom but there's nothing there so i'm assuming that the diplomat badge is going to give us some sort of bonus for our daily login maybe some extra spire marks some SD, uh some extra overclocking hours whatever it is it's going to give us some extra for our daily login what i'm hoping this is not and I'll say this not. I'm hoping this is not a sign, this whole Diplomat Badge versus 3. I'm hoping this is not a sign that they're putting in the VIP system in the Amer USA version. Because I'm telling you, VIP system, I've had talks in the forums, VIP system games in the US normally don't do good. And, and the, the thing is, it's because a lot of them, what they end up doing is, you sort of feel limited on VIP because, yeah, you can play the game, but a lot of times a VIP will have access to maybe... Um, more dungeons, more events, they'll get more bonuses. Sometimes they even limit you. Like, okay, you're not a VIP, you can only have so many shillings on you, so many keys on you, so many spire marks. Unless you go VIP and then you have full access to the game, you can have... A so if, if, they, if this is a sign that VIP is going in, this is not a good thing, guys. Um, I, don't, I think the game's going to have some issues because a lot of people don't like VIP. Again, it's just an assumption because I know 1.5 in, in Turkey and... Uh, and the Chinese version have VIP system, but also they have the, the the new vehicle system, which you're giving us vehicle parts. So that's a sign that that vehicle system is coming over. Um, also, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard from somebody that plays on the Chinese server that the Chinese version is a bit pay to win because there's um, cosmetics, you know, uh, outfit pieces you can buy that give you bonuses to damage and stuff like that. And when it comes down to PvP, anything that you can buy with real currency that a free free to play player can't get. 
and in, it, it affects PvP is considered a pay-to-win game. So I hope that that also doesn't come over if you're going to be transferring via P system and you're going to be bringing over the vehicle from 1.5 and all that stuff. I hope that those, some of those, if it's true, of course, if some of these bonuses to damage and that'll give you an advantage in PvP also don't come over because then you're going to have a VIP system in here that a lot of people don't like and then you're going to have some pay-to-win aspects. And I don't know how it is in other countries, but in the United States, a lot of games who see games, free-to-play games that involve PvP, their first question is, is the game pay-to-win? And if they if they say, well, there's some pay-to-win, some, some items that give you bonus damage, people won't even bother. A lot of people here do not like pay-to-win. Um, so again, those two, the pay-to-win and the VIP system, again, they're just assumptions, but I'm just going by what is in the other games, and since it's an advanced version, yeah, it'll be 2.0, but remember, from 1.5 to 2.0, some of the 1.5 aspects will probably still be in the 2.0 version. So that's why I'm, I'm just a little concerned. Again, overall, I mean, I can't complain. They're giving us, you know, revamp kits for retuning. That's great. Vehicle parts, alloys, awesome. Alloys are always great for, for your weapons. Keys, you know. Th I guess I can say I'm kind of happy with the Welcome Back pack. I mean, it could have been a bit better, but it's something. You know, they didn't have to give us anything, if they were, but they're compensating us with some stuff. Um, I am upset, however, like I said, I'm losing my Electrum stuff, and I'm getting zero compensation. You know, I'm losing my full Spire Marks cosmetic uh, outfit, I'm losing my Spire Marks jetpack, I had a cos uh, Spire Marks jetpack before I bought the uh, Electrum one. But again, that stuff's going to be in the game as we play the game now on the mechs of the service. We can re-earn our Spire Marks, they're giving us some Spire Marks in the packages, plus the Spire Marks you get as you level up and do events, they come in pretty fast, it's pretty easy to rebuy your Spire Mark uh, cosmetics, your Spire Mark vanity items. But the thing is, the Electrum. And that's, I'm going to end it at that. Mechanist, I think that was a, a a bad choice to not compensate us R2 players on spent Electrum. Again, like I said, sp spot Electrum that was spent on catalysts, metals, keys, stuff like that. Non-vanity, non-cosmetic. I can understand not getting reimbursed for but stuff that was spent on like the the headgear bundle for hats, um, the cosmetic, the the the, the, the costumes, you know, the pat, the pants, the legs, and all that stuff. Um, Electrum that was spent on the pets, on the steam bikes, on the jetpacks, and on the gauntlets. We should have been compensated for that with spire marks, um, items, or just some extra spire marks, and we're not. So, overall, I give you a thumbs up for the for the for the stuff in the welcome backpacks, but in general, but I give you a thumbs down because it's only for level 30 plus characters, and I also give you a big thumbs down because you're not compensating us for any of the Electrum we've spent um, on stuff. Only remaining Electrum, which doesn't make any sense to me at all. Alright, this is Daytora, and I'm sure some of you are going to uh, agree with this, and some of you are going to disagree. Again, I like, like I mean, <clears throat> they're going to re they're asking us for remaining keys, shilling, spire marks, Electrum, so we're going to get some some compensation maybe on some of the in-game currency we do have, but the whole Electrum situation, I just boggles my mind. Um, I'm sure a lot of people are not going to be happy that we're not getting any credit at all for Electrum items purchased. And that's all I have to say. Again, you can agree with me, disagree with me, you can you know debate all you want in my comments, but please keep it on a mature level. Uh, this is just my quick review, um, and that's what I think about it. Alright, this is Daytora, and I'll catch you later.